Hello. Hey, began to think you're gonna ignore me forever. You, you doing okay? Yeah. This this feels weird the way this is happening. Yeah. Like I've got a lot to talk about with you. Can we meet in person? Why can't you just talk, just say it now? Yeah, it's it's just weird to do this over phone. I know this is kind of fresh for her, and I, you know, I know that hurts a lot, and that's, I, I know she really wanted a kid, so that's a huge slap in the face for her. It was kind of a, a random thing, obviously wasn't planned. It was unintentional. <laughs> it's not like, you know, I went out trying to do that to her. Are you in a relationship with her? Yes. Do you love her? Yes. Did you ever love me? Well, yeah, I, I still care about you, Whitney. I assume when Chase said he was having a baby with this woman that they would probably try to be together. Um, but to hear that he does like actually love her, to hear him confirm that is really difficult. Uh, can I can I come see you at least? Like, yeah, no, you can't. I mean, you don't have to like touch me or do anything. But yeah, I never... yeah, D don't worry about that. Uh, I I I I wouldn't let you in my house. Period. I wouldn't let you on my porch. Like. Okay, I, I won't. How about we meet like halfway in between? So you want me to get in my car and drive an hour and a half to meet you somewhere for what? So you can feel better about yourself. I, it will you at least like think about maybe meeting me and then you know, text me either way. If I change my mind, I'll text you. Okay. If I don't text you, you don't need to call me back. Okay. I'll leave you alone. I'll give you your space. If that was you really want then. Okay. Bye. There's nothing to work through. It just, this is what it is. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to be able to just look back on this, like, you know, it was just a thing that happened and it's not still happening because right now it's just still happening.